According to Grandfather Michael, it's important to know your animal totems because you can draw power from them. Uh, my animals were the spider, the ant and the skunk. My totem animals are the dog, the armadillo and the turkey. The ant represented patience, which I have sometimes and I don't have other times. The dog is extremely loyal. We think of loyalty when we think of the dog. The spider represented the web of life and complexity. The turkey is very giving. I tend to be quite generous towards other people, but tend to, to miss being generous to myself. The skunk represented something that plods along and if backed into a corner, can turn around and give a nasty bite and send whatever's annoying it running. And the armadillo tends to be very stubborn and I'm very focused on what I want to achieve in my life. The totems according to Dan and Nat are helpful, especially if you work with animals. Well, my darlings, it's been a very interesting journey to look at animal powers. Daniel and Natalie, what are your final thoughts? Um, it was just a, a really amazing journey, meeting um, a lot of interesting people and a lot of really amazing animals like the spiders and, and the scorpions and, you know, to dolphins and uh, talking to even people like Grandfather Michael who told us about ancient, the ancient beliefs of, of people and the, the powers that animals have. And after this journey, Daniel, do you believe humans are the supreme beings on planet Earth? Well, I've, I've never really believed that. I think that's just something that humans have tagged onto themselves. Certainly not. I think it's quite arrogant of us to think that we are the planet's supreme animal. I mean, all animals have their own unique, special qualities that enable them to adapt to specific environments. I mean, dolphins are amazing. The way that they can communicate with each other and even communicate with other species, I mean, we can't, do, we can't even do that. When you look into a dolphin's eye, and I'd thoroughly recommend anyone to do it, you can really see how intelligent they are. It's the spiders, the scorpions, and, and how long they've been around on Earth, and, and they continue to be around, and they, you know, they're very, very successful in surviving, and um, they've managed to survive a lot longer than we have, and not managed to destroy the planet. So, yeah, it's quite, quite an amazing journey. Intelligence is considered to be the ultimate survival tool, but... If the world as we know it ended tomorrow, do you know what would crawl out of the debris and continue to exist? Cockroaches, my darlings, cockroaches. So despite all our technology and our so-called intelligence, when humanity no longer dominates this little planet, scientists say the humble cockroach will remain because all a cockroach needs to survive is warmth, water and some kind of decaying matter. Stranger things in heaven and earth. And you've just seen some of them.